Welcome back everyone. We are back here on a Tuesday, 11 o'clock. So um, it's not raining outside at least like it was all day or all last week. So now guys, uh, once things pick up, I'll let you know. I've got some stuff I'm going to put out. It's some really, really good stuff. Not a lot, but some NES and Super Nintendo games and a lone DS game. I'll show you that as soon as I get it all in the system. So guys, here is the stuff. We've got some NES games. Unfortunately, one of the better ones. The label's pretty messed up on that. It's Battletoads, Burger Time. We have got a copy of Mega Man 4. We don't get that very often. Tecmo Baseball, Dragon Power, which is a Dragon Ball Z game, relabeled for America. Dr. Mario, we got Street Fighter Championship Edition for the Genesis. We got Super Ghouls and Ghosts for the Super Nintendo. Probably the best game up here. This is Pokemon Soul Silver for the DS. And then we've got a few PSP movies and games right here. All right, guys, it is 4 o'clock. We're sitting at 1.32. Uh, it's been fairly decent as far as as many people have been coming into the store, even though it's not been raining, because that's what brought people in last week. A few things we sold. We sold five $5 comics. They were all Captain Marvel comics. We sold an $8, and $8 anime necklace. Then we had one of our regulars come in. They picked up Mega Man Anniversary Edition for the PS2, a set of AV cables for the PS1 and PS2, as well as a Super Nintendo Premium Controller. We then sold uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron for the N64, as well as Marvel Nemesis and Need for Speed Carbon for the PS2. We then had somebody come in and pick up Rainbow Six Vegas 2 for the 360. Somebody then came in and picked up Looney Tunes, Acme Arsenal for the Wii, as well as a 16 meg GameCube controller. Then we had one of our regulars come in. They picked up Kingdom Hearts for the PS2, Halo, and Halo 2 for the original Xbox. So guys, once things pick up, I'll let you know. Well, guys, at 7 o'clock, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We ended up at 174. Not bad. Uh, normally, Tuesdays are our better days. We normally do at least over 200. But again, uh, we had quite a few people come in. Just not a lot of big sales. A few things we sold here in the last few hours. We sold Army Men, Sarge's Hero, as well as Party Blast and Starsky and Hutch for the GameCube. Can't believe somebody bought Starsky and Hutch. Then we sold Tony Hawk 2 and Star Wars Trilogy for the Game Boy Advance. We then had somebody come in with, uh, I think it was... A father and a uh, daughter and son, they picked up Sims for the GameCube, a Wii AC adapter, and Wii AV cables. So now, guys, stay tuned for Wednesday. Welcome back, everyone. I am in the back in the storage area of our store. This is a Wednesday. Decided not to go to the flea market in Plant City. Uh, we had plenty of stuff to put out, so I don't really got to worry about that. Money's a little tight, so I want to make sure we save so we can pay all our bills for this month. We also put out a few things, guys. Nothing really fancy except for a couple of games. So I'm going to show you those now. All right, guys. Here's some stuff we put out today. We put out Need for Speed Underground as well as Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, both complete for the GameCube. But we also put this complete copy of Pokemon Coliseum. The disc in pretty decent shape. And the case and artwork's in real good shape. It also came with what's in the back here, the bonus disc for the Pokemon Coliseum game, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, guys, it's 4 o'clock. We're sitting at 192. It's been pretty decent today. A few things we sold. One of the gentlemen that came in yesterday, he said he'd be back to buy some more stuff, and he came back. He picked up a Retron 5 uh, Mario Golf for the actual GameCube, six $3 Game Boy Advance games, Pinbot Golf and John Elway's Football for the NES. He picked up uh, Super Nintendo Extension Cables, a Dog Bond controller for the NES, as well as a Super Famicom-style Wii Pro controller. We then had somebody come in and picked up a Retron 2, Mario is Missing, as well as a Super Battle Tank for the Super Nintendo. We then had somebody come in and pick up a three-button Genesis controller, a the Resident Evil codename Veronica uh, Strategy Guide, as well as a small poster. We then had somebody come in and pick up Batman Arkham Knight for the PS4. He traded some PS4 and DVDs in and got that. So guys, once things pick up, I'll let you know. Well, guys, at 7 o'clock, we ended up at 255 not too bad. We ended up selling a PS3 wired controller. That was a third-party one, a PS3 wireless controller. That was a first-party one. He also picked up Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit, as well as PlayStation All-Stars All -Star, All Battle Royal for the PS3 as well. He traded in a few things for that. So now, guys, stay tuned for Thursday. Welcome back, everyone, to a typically our slowest day of the week. Today is Thursday. We do have some pretty good stuff that we're putting out. I will show you that stuff as soon as we get it checked in and ready to put out. So first, guys, I've got some 360 games we're putting out here, just some of the common stuff that we're putting out. Midnight Club Los Angeles Complete Edition, Fight Night Champion, 
Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe were popular. We saw tons of those. Here are probably our two best games we're putting out as far as 360 games. Dragon Ball Z Burst Time, or Burst Limit, and Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast. Couple PS2 games, that's probably the best one. The underneath it, the one underneath it is NASCAR 07 and Star Wars Forces Unleashed. We got Mega Man X4, complete, really good shape condition uh, copy. Then underneath that is SmackDown 2. I think it's missing the manual. Then we have got God of War collection for the PS3. Now for the really good stuff. We got the uh, Zelda Four Swords complete, Dance Dance Revolution, Mario Mix. Both of those are complete. They're going out. They came out today. As well as this one right here. It's been on hold. If the guy doesn't come and pick it up by the end of the day, uh, if somebody can come in tomorrow and pick it up, that's uh, Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube. Well, guys, it is 7 o'clock. Uh, it has been so dang busy today, I wasn't able to do another update. So I'm just going to kind of give you a, a overview of some of the stuff that we sold. We ended up at 274, which is actually a pretty good Thursday for us. Here's a few of the things we sold. We sold four Skylanders figures, the same people that have been buying all the Skylanders from us. I think they're addicted to them, came back and bought that. They also bought a strategy guide for Skylanders uh, Spiral's Adventure. They also got Robot Chicken Season 1. Then had a couple come in. They were very excited to know they have a game store in Zephyr Hills. They picked up a 360 wireless controller, a 360 battery pack brand new, as well as the Lego Indiana Jones Kung Fu Panda uh, combo for the 360. Had a gentleman come in. He bought my boxed Sega Genesis. That finally went out. He picked up NHL 94. He was pretty excited to get home and play that. He then came back and got a second uh, Genesis controller, a three-button used first party. He also picked up a Genesis 2 AV cables. Then had some people come in. Uh, they traded in about, I don't know, $60 worth of stuff. They got God of War Saga, South Park, Rage for the PS3, Gauntlet, Gauntlet Dark Legacy for the PS2, Final Fantasy Tactics Strategy Guide. We then had some people come in. They brought some stuff from Michael from the Nerd Attic. He may be moving over here um, in the strip mall that we're in. So that is pretty exciting. He brought me all of his video game stuff since he's possibly coming over here. I'm going to go through it all and try to give him a fair price on all that stuff. Um, and we may do the same thing with the comics. We'll have to see. But the gentleman who brought that stuff over, he came with his two girls. They picked up Aliens, uh, Colonel Marines for the 360, Mosh Monsters 2, and Zuma's Revenge for the DS. We then had a gentleman come in and pick up new Super Mario Brothers Wii for the Wii. So now, guys, stay tuned for Friday. Welcome back, everyone. It is Friday. We've got a few things to put out. So now, guys, let's get that stuff. Uh, I'll get that stuff ready, and I'll show it to you as soon as we get it in the system. First, we got us some big box PC games. We've got Dragon's Lair CD-ROM. We have got Tactical Fighter Experiment. It's missing the slipcover. Got a nice big box copy of Myst for the PC and Mac. We got three DVDs, good family DVDs. And then we've got a few games here. We've got Mortal Kombat 10 for the PS4. Yeah, that's Pokemon Red. Unfortunately, it was missing the label, so I had to print something out. I don't think anybody's gonna think that this is a complete copy as far as a label, intact label. Now, I even put it on the bottom down there that this is not a real label on it. And we've got Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. So guys, when things pick up, I'll let you know. All right, guys, it's 7 o'clock. It has been another busy day, not as far as customers go, but just stuff that we've been doing. My wife's been cleaning discs all day. I've been testing stuff. Also, uh, the Nerd Attic, the comic book store in our area, has dropped, like I said yesterday, dropped some stuff off. I've been going through some of that stuff as well, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. But we ended up at 170 not too bad on a Friday. Here's a few things we sold, kind of a summary. We sold Time Splitters 2, a Harry Potter game, and Burnout 2 for the GameCube. Somebody came in and picked up a 360 power adapter, Lion King for the Super Nintendo, and a Wii sensor bar. We then had somebody come pick up a Super Nintendo controller, one of the aftermarket ones, and a necklace. And for the first time in a long time, we sold four Intellivision games, as well as one of the new style RF adapters. We sold Capcom versus SNK2 for the PS2, as well as our last Sega Virtua Stick. I think we were selling for 40 online. We sold two of them. The last one we let go for like 20. And tomorrow is going to be our onslaught. We've got massive tubs of stuff going out, so you can expect to see tons of stuff once we uh, I get it checked in. We'll show you all that stuff that's going out because there's at least four or five Pokemon games for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color that's going out tomorrow. Welcome back, everyone, to another Saturday here at the store. We have got just tons of stuff to put out. It's kind of a blessing when it's kind of slow on Saturdays until about 3 o'clock. It's going to allow us to put a whole bunch of this stuff out. Hopefully we'll get it all out because it is a ton. 
some pretty amazing handheld stuff I'm about to show you right now. So we're going to start down here first. We've got a Pac-Man plug and play. We've got a Game Boy camera. It does work. We've got some PSP games. The uh, Def Jam fight for New York to take over. It's a pretty darn expensive game. Here's the rest of the PSPs. Got a couple DS lights with some crappy <laughs> DS games. Got a Game Boy Advance SP. It's pretty decent shape. Unfortunately, it's a 001, but it will still sell. And here are the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games. Pretty darn amazing. Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Blue, Sapphire, Emerald. We've got Gunstar Heroes, a Pac-Man game. So yeah, some really, really good stuff. Unfortunately, as you can see, we've got little stickers on some of these. The batteries aren't working. Still trying to find somebody who can replace batteries for us you know, for at a reasonable time because it seems like some of our people, they just take forever to get stuff back to us. And here's the rest of the stuff we're putting out. Here are the original Xbox games. The Zerk's probably the best one in that pile. PS2 games, again, Worms, um, Ports Under Siege is probably the best one there. Couple of 360 games, here are all the Wii games. A lot of common stuff. Didn't really pay a lot for them though. Here are some loose Xbox games, some decent stuff, nothing you know, real fancy. Fantasy Star Online Episodes 1 and 2, Time Splitters 2, Fable. GoldenEye Rogue Agent, and a copy of Shinnu 2, 2, that is probably the best game out of this lot. And we've got Dawn of Mana, a loose copy for the PS2. Well, it took us pretty much a day to get everything into the system and out for today. Here is all the stuff that is going out tomorrow. It is absolutely crazy, the amount. Probably the coolest thing, besides this PC, we've got the uh, NES power set complete, which is really cool. Also, I want to talk a little bit about Daisy here. She just went through surgery for a bladder stone. I'm going to see if I can get this on camera for you. That's what was removed from her bladder, which is absolutely crazy how big this thing is. It's like a half a dollar size. You wouldn't know it, though, because she was still prancing around. I mean, at the very end, she was getting a little sluggish. Knew something was wrong because she was there was pee, uh, her blood in her pee, so we knew something was wrong. She's had um, bladder stones before, but again, that thing is a monster. Alright guys, it is 7 o'clock. We ended up at 161. Not a lot of sales. It was only 5 or 6 sales, but the average uh, sale per customer was actually pretty good. First thing we sold this morning, we sold a Wii system with Chibi Robo, a Japanese Amiibo. And they also picked up uh, Digimon World 2 Strategy Guide. We had one of our regulars come in. He picked up Dragon Power for the NES, Twin Hawk for the Genesis. It's one of the uh, reproduction carts that I make. Then Fighter's Destiny and Pilot Wings for the N64. We then had our neighbors that are going to be moving in next door. They came in with their um, their grandchild. They picked up a, the Bar a Barbie game for the DS and a generic $4 DS game. We then had somebody come in and do a trade. They got uh, Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube complete. We got about $70 to $75 worth of 360 games. Some actually pretty decent stuff. I think uh, Midway's Arcade Origins was in there um, and quite a few other good things. So now, guys, stay tuned for Sunday. Welcome back everyone to the last day here at the store. This is Sunday. We've got a ton of stuff to put out. I'm going to start doing that because we do leave early today at 4. Once this gets done, guys, I'll let you know. All right, guys, here's the first round of stuff. Give you an overview of everything. Not going to take us nearly as long as we thought because probably half of the um, stuff in here were DVDs. Most were all in good shape, so we were able to put those out. Not going to show you that stuff, with the exception of this one. I thought this one was kind of cool. This is the best of SmackDown 10th anniversary from 1999 to 2009. It's a three-disc set. Thought that was kind of cool. We've got some PC games, some actually decent ones. We've got Star Wars Battlefront, Half-Life 2, Game of the Year Edition, Blazing Angels, and Call of Duty 2. We've got some common 360 and PS3 and one original Xbox game. Here's a few of the better ones. We've got Grand Theft Auto 5, Watch Dogs, and Battlefield 3 Limited Edition. In this lot, we also got an original Xbox. It tested it. It works. Same th thing with this 320 gig PS3 Slim system. It works as well. Really nice to be able to get some PS3s finally. And if you can believe it, I had no original Xboxes out. Um, we've had five and six at one time. And now we're kind of running in a lull and a drought where I've not been able to get one. So it's really nice to be able to get this as well. So guys, the other stuff we put out, I've got a Dell... Uh, PC here that we picked up. It actually has a wireless card inside of it. It's actually pretty nice We picked up some random controllers and this little sucker here. This is that Black Knight Marine um, Jet fighter game. 
it's DOS, it's DOS based, but it's really cool. It even comes with a VHS tape inside. All right, guys, it's 4 o'clock. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. We end up at 221, which is actually pretty darn good for a Sunday. Did not go to the flea markets this morning. Um, it, since it's the end of the month, we're trying to save our money. And we just had tons of stuff to put out, so I didn't want to confuse us and put more on us trying to get that stuff checked in because we had just gotten done, and there's still a few things to do before we uh, before Tuesday comes around that we need to get done. Here's a few things we sold. We sold Wii. For the Wii, we sold Call of Duty Black Ops, Deal or No Deal, or, and Sonic and the Secret Rings. We sold Dragon Ball Z, uh, Raging Blast for the 360, and Ben 10 Alien Force for the PS2. Our first sell of the day was a Game Boy Advance SP for and Pokemon Blue. I think he was going on a camping trip and wanted a game system to bring with him. We sold a PS2 system, Spyros, Ripto's Rage, as well as five anime DVDs. Then her daughter picked up uh, three anime posters. Sold a couple of cheap Genesis Sports titles. I think one was like the um, Barkley Shut Up and Jam or whatever the heck it's called. And then a Madden game. Uh, then one of our regulars came in. They picked up Trick Style, WWF Attitude, and Hydro Thunder for the Dreamcast. And his brother picked up Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. So now, guys, that is it. We'll start all this all over again on Tuesday.